and welcome back to Hench and Saunters. This is another episode of Just John, the director series, and I figured because Batman vs Superman is just around the corner, I'd talk about Zack Snyder. Like many filmmakers of his generation, Snyder was director and cinematographer on a bunch of commercials and music videos before making his directorial debut in feature film with 2004's remake of Dawn of the Dead. I adore the original Dawn of the Dead, and trust me, a George A. Romero video is coming in the near future. Snyder's remake offered a little more horror as opposed to the, the green flesh-eating zombies that we're used to. And some of the music choices in this film are inspired. The opening credits which used Johnny Cash's When the Man Comes Around is just perfect. Now, oddly enough, Dawn of the Dead is probably Zack Snyder's most restrained film. His visual flair, his style, his signature didn't really show up until his follow-up. His follow-up, of course, was 300. Essentially a panel for panel adaptation of Frank Miller's comic book of the same name. This was Snyder's chance to really push the envelope and make sure everybody knew who he was. Following from the success of Sin City, 300 utilised a lot of similar filmmaking techniques, such as green screen or blue screen, and very extreme colour grading. A 300 is stylistically beautiful. However, it doesn't have much replay value. I tried to watch it recently and I was bored throughout almost the entire movie. Following on from 300 was Zack Snyder's magnum opus, Watchmen. This, again, was more or less a panel-for-panel -panel adaptation of the graphic novel by Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons. This film really cemented Snyder as a filmmaker to look out for. I was unfamiliar with the graphic novel before watching the trailers, and I was very disappointed at the time because the film was going to be an 18 certificate, and I was, of course, not 18. For the first time ever, I'd read the graphic novel in preparation for seeing the film, and I was genuinely blown away. I pirated the shittiest cam rip I could find on the internet, and I was equally blown away. I adored everything about Watchmen. I've watched it dozens of times, even though it's about three hours long, and I think it was criminally overlooked at the Oscars, and unfortunately it didn't make a lot of money back at the box office. I will skip the Owl movie, because I didn't see it. <laughs> Snyder's next movie was Sucker Punch, which, oddly enough, people seem to really hate but I actually love. The video game style action was really cool and the soundtrack was perfect. Snyder had brought a bunch of musicians in to record fresh takes of these songs, record them from scratch, and I think it really helped create this immersive world. The downfall of that movie to me is its script, which Zack Snyder is mostly responsible for, proving that not every great director can be a great writer. Now, Man of Steel followed, which I do want to do a more in-depth retro review of, so I don't want to say too much about it here. To me as a comic book fan, it is a near perfect portrayal of Superman. The action, the music, the cinematography, I love it all. But again, the downfall to this movie is its script. Unfortunately, the script was very poor, but it never really took me out of the film. I think Zack Snyder's decision to shoot this all handheld and with only one camera was very ambitious as well. And this really helped to ground the tone of the film. And the next movie from Zack Snyder is going to be Batman v Superman, which is here in three weeks time. I have been following this since its announcement, I've looked at all the trailers, I've been reading as many articles as I could. The early reports of the film are very positive. People say that Chris Terrio's script is great. People say that uh, such and such is going to surprise you, such and such is going to surprise you. I was always on board for Ben Affleck's casting, so I really hope that this film as, is as good as I expect it to be. The, I mean, all of the trailers had their merits, but the final trailer really sold me on this, so I'm so excited to go and see this movie. Of course, Zack Snyder will then be directing Justice League Parts 1 and 2, which I think will be huge movies. And, I mean, the guy is going to be ready to collapse by the end of this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. If you've got something to say, leave a comment down below, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Thank you for watching, and you'll see me again on Friday.